Hello, in this video I will show you how to install Virtual Key Secure on the VMware Workstation machine. To get the image itself, we'll go to Service Portal. We'll search for 150V as a virtual appliance and download 8.4.2 version. This is the latest bundle for today. So let's click on link and then on download file. I will not download file right now. I already have it on my desktop. So if I open file, I'll see inside two subfolders, documents. It's where we provide administrative guide, implementation guide, and a build folder where we provide image itself, and also MIB uh, libraries for SNMP. If I open tar file, inside I will see two uh, files. As I open this folder, I can double click on OVA and try to import it. On the workstation, you might see this error, SHA-1 digest is not match manifest. Uh, same error should not happen on ESXi or ESX server. On the workstation, there is a utility, OVF tool, that allow me to fix this SHA-1 error message. I run this command. As a result, I generate two files. I take a virtual machine file and drop it on my VMware workstation. Let me check that um, my configuration is right about my uh, ISO image. So it's look good. Let's start this machine. It boots itself in the prompt where I just hit enter and the process starts. I wanted to mention that for sake of this video, uh, from time to time I use fast forward. So when you see yellow box saying FF, it means I speed up the process. This part is very important. This is your initial pre-boot password that we're going to use when machine is up and running. So as you can see, this fast forward. Um, in normal environment, you can expect machine to be installed in about 20 or 30 minutes. The format itself takes a long time. So I uh, speed up this process. Once we reboot machine, the very next time it starts, it will ask you for this pre-boot passphrase. And this is exactly what we type in the beginning. So you type uh, the passcode, you can now create a user. So pre-boot environment usually will uh, ask for the username and the passphrase. You also can create more than one user. You can go up to eight users and those identity will be able to uh, pass pre-boot authentication for this virtual machine. Remember, virtual machine runs in the virtual environment. We don't know necessarily where this machine runs, who has an access to this. So those up to eight people will be able to spin up uh, this virtual machine. The process continues, so all um, volumes being um, initiated. A virtual machine restarts itself, 
Now you can see it ask for username and the passphrase. And then I hit on enter to continue the boot process. This second boot will end up with wizard where we will set up a passcode for administrative account. Make sure to use complex password because you cannot disable admin account. And this is very sweet spot for a brute force attack. You select your time zone, the time, and now the IP address that um, you will be using for management purposes. As well, you will set up a host name. You will select a port. So I just use a default port. We will generate self-signed certificate. And now you can see the web management console should be available through management interface. So let me try to log in to web interface. Make sure you specify HTTPS and appropriate port. You use admin account. Remember this uh, tal k was only for pre-boot authentication. It does not exist inside of virtual key secure. Uh, on the first time we log in, there is no license applied. So very next step you need to do is reach out to your SE and uh, make sure he generates your demo license for this virtual key secure. Thank you, and I see you on the next chapter where we'll discuss Protect File, Protect DB, and other uh, products that works with KeySecure.